sitting around at home and getting antsy to go do something, have a little adventure, decided to pack up the car and check out some of these cool town hills that we've heard so much about. Marcus Caston takes skiing seriously. Really seriously. That's why when the rest of his pro skiing peers run off to Alaska or Japan, Marcus goes in search of skiing soul. At the kinds of places where a lot of us first fall in love with the sport. One great example, Howlson Hill. Also known as the ski area in Steamboat, that's not Steamboat. Deeper than I would have thought. Half of it's this huge roller that you can jump. And then the other half is ski jumps. As soon as you hit the town, boom, you look right, and Hallison's right there. When you first drive up, you're not overly impressed. It's like, oh boy, how many days do we have here? But we had a week here, and it wasn't enough. We got to know everybody, so many people that love skiing here. Robbie is a little wild, a little loose, a little cowboy style. He likes to go big and he likes to go fast. He's just a classic ski bum. The purpose they serve is to instill a love of skiing into the community here, and he lives it. There's like really no better person than Robbie to run this place. And they call him Robbie Shine because, well, you know. I've been the supervisor here at Allison Hill Ski Area for two years. Moved here in high school, really just couldn't leave Allison Hill or Steamboat. Robbie. Hey, Marcus, how you doing? Good, what you doing over here? I'll just getting the jumps ready for you. We thought you might want to take a hit on this thing. I don't know, man. It looks pretty big to me. You know that uh, the 11-year-olds hit this jump. I thought you wanted to start a little smaller. 11-year-olds hit it, huh? What, it must look easier from up there, then? Uh, no. Let's look at it. Good view, huh? You see town through your ski tips. So how's the air? The air's great. It's the landing. That's the hard part. Let's see how it's done, dude. All right. Yeah, I thought we were just coming to make a couple groomer turns. I don't know how we got suckered into this. How was it? <laughs> Welcome to Steamboat House and Hill Special. Let's go make some turns now. All right, let's do it. Groomers. Operated since 1915, the oldest continually operated ski area in North America. Owned by the city of Steamboat Springs, you gotta think of it as a city park. It's the greatest city park in America. We wanna make an affordable option for public, but we also wanna create a great training venue for future Olympians. The reason for Howls and Hill to exist is the Winter Sports Club. Winter Sports Club Executive Director, Sarah Floyd. I've been at the club since 1987. The sports club is all about kids and passion for sport. Howlson Hill is not just a great training facility, but a community hill that's really open to all. It's a blend of the community and a blend of high-level athletics. Yes, we've had a lot of Olympians here, but you know, we're really about raising good people. Jaina Davis is good people. The Winter Sports Club is awesome. They really made me feel included. They're really great. My U14 Alpine team, the Slope Slayers, thanks for being such an awesome team. I love you guys. You guys are so supportive. Yeah, Slope Slayers. The Winter Sports Club has produced 96 Olympians in every discipline, from Nordic jumping to snowboarding, to give the place a glow that anyone can bask in. 
Every Sunday here at Howlson Hill during the ski season is free. It's skiing to the bone. It's what it used to be. It's not about money. It's the best day of the week. Closing day tomorrow. You guys are really gonna see some characters here at Steamboat. so unobtainable for so many families that just get priced out here. It's affordable, and if you can't afford that, you can afford to come here on Sundays and ski for free. Skiing doesn't have to be this complicated thing. It should be about just going out and having fun and finding little jumps or sliding wherever. Howlson Hill is the lifeblood of this community. It's the heartbeat in the winter. It's skiing at the heart of what it used to be. It's a tremendous part of the community. I don't know what this community would be like without it. It's a place where you belong. Next time you're planning a trip to one of these big ski towns, it might be worth checking out their little town hill. If you don't ski Howlson Hill this year, you'll be one year older when you do.